Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I wanted to show you this app I've been using, this little app I've been using on my MacBook called No Sleep. So I'm not sure about how you may use your MacBook, but I tend to use it for a lot of auxiliary tasks when I'm at home. So say for example, I've got Final Cut Pro 10 open on my iMac and I'm editing some new footage. And say I wanted to upload a new video to my channel at the same time. Now if I were to do that on my iMac, there's a very high chance that it's going to impede my work in Final Cut Pro 10 and just make my iMac generally unusable. So in situations like those, I usually tend to offload a task like uploading video to my MacBook Pro. But the problem is, as many of you with MacBooks would know, if you keep the screen open for long enough or if you close the lid, that MacBook's going to go to sleep and you're going to lose all your progress on your work when it's sleeping. So that's where this little app called No Sleep comes in. As the name suggests, it stops your MacBook from going to sleep, which is really useful because then, if I'm doing something like, say, uploading video or downloading a file that takes a long time, and I don't want to necessarily have to see the screen of the MacBook and maybe save a little bit of power in the process, all you need to do is open the um, No Sleep application, and as I said before, it is a menu bar application, so it's just going to appear there in the top menu, all you have to do is click on that to enable it and then you can do whatever you want with your MacBook. You could keep it open and the screen's going to stay on or you could close it and if you notice with the indicator light on a model like a MacBook Pro, you'll see that it just stays on and it doesn't fade in and fade out, it just stays on. So that's how you know it hasn't gone into sleep and it's still doing stuff for you. Now, there is a slight problem, I guess, with a setup like this. If you were to go into System Preferences and you've changed your energy settings such that your computer goes to sleep in, say, 20 minutes or so, if you activate No Sleep and you close your MacBook, in 20 minutes, it's still going to go to sleep and turn off your hard disk. Even if you were to keep your MacBook open, it would still be doing work, but for only 20 minutes because your system preferences settings are telling your computer to go to sleep and turn off your hard disk in 20 minutes. So whenever I'm using No Sleep, I tend to use another uh, menu bar application with it called Caffeine. Now I'm sure a lot of productivity users may know what Caffeine is. It essentially does a similar task as well in the sense that it will keep your MacBook open, but I tend to use No Sleep with it because I don't really like to have the screen open when I'm doing tasks on my MacBook. That's just how I work. I like to keep it closed and know that it's still doing stuff for me. So I don't have to necessarily open it and leave yet another screen open in front of me. Let me know if you want to use No Sleep or if you are using No Sleep. I'll have a link to it in the description below. It's on Google Code, so it is free. And if you guys don't already know what caffeine is, I've already explained it. Um, if you want to go download that, I'm pretty sure it's available on the Mac App Store. So, just wanted to talk to you all about uh, No Sleep and I guess caffeine as well. So, for all you productivity users, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a like or favorite it. And if you want to see more interesting tech videos, uh, be sure to subscribe. So yeah, I guess that's it for this video and I'll see you all in the next one.